everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you um, a couple of my books I'd like to introduce you to Discover and Experience. And if you have been watching my videos, you'll recognize this fabric used in my Autumn on My Mind journal and my um, Colors of Fall journal. So this is a fabric that I've had for a while. And these two books are brother, sister, or they're siblings, so to speak. And they have two signatures each. And I actually, uh, full disclosure, made these a while ago. And uh, when I was first learning how to make junk journals and, but there's something that I'm still very proud of. I think that they're very nice journals and they're, they were easy. And um, the biggest challenge on these were were the covers and the closures, but I used buttons and I used these just plain old elastic bands, hair bands. So, and that was fun. And before I get started, I love you guys and like to thank a few new subscribers. If I can get their names up here, just give me a second. So it's nice to have almost 120 subscribers now. I'm just kind of jazzed about that. I'd like to say hi to Sonia de, de Greffenreid. I hope I'm not saying that badly. I apologize if I am. And Patricia, Patricia Sell. Thank you so much for being part of our little community here. It's been, um, it's been quite a journey and I'm enjoying it still, still after just over a year now. So uh, let's get into these albums. I'm sorry, I do say albums often enough. Maybe I need to get back into my scrapbooking. Hmm, hmm, makes me think. So let's look at our Discover book first. Yeah, let, let's set that aside a little more, a little more, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, a little bit. Good. So yeah, the elastic band works great, big fat button. And so what I use in this is seriously just a bunch of junk. And I've done a lot of Franken papers in, in these two albums that you will see. So in the beginning is just, it's a pocket from a book cover inside with just some more scrap paper put inside. Now my, the beginnings of my junk journal journey as I'm creating, newly creator of these, I put in a lot of stuff. So you will see this thing is a little almost too packed. Um, lined the inside with some harder card stock, gave it um, a little more reinforcement here. Again, new to the junk journaling gig and I was just trying to make sure I was keeping it strong. So this is a Franken paper that I created out of just scraps. And then I tucked in all kinds of little journaling cards. And this is an envelope. And I'm just gonna keep going through. I'm not gonna talk too much because that'll drag on and on. But yeah, just a little envelope made out of, I don't even remember what I made this out of, but this is just duct tape. Some fun duct tape I got on a clearance made that a little envelope with something inside and clipped it in. Hmm. Little tuck spots in all these Franken page, there's little Franken page um, things that didn't get all the way sewn on. And this is a little tricky. This is the inside of a, there's a pocket there too, I think what's left over from, you know, the reinforcement holes. So it just goes to show you can use anything, anything to put in these. Come on now. Oh, I'll do that later. So lovely darling. Extra just stamped page. This is a tuck up kind of thing and a little envelope I created. So I was discovering all of these interesting things that you can do with the junk journal and I went to town. This is just cut out um, die cut Cricut, added words and stamping and cutoffs and just 
uh, seriously, scraps and envelopes and little tiny thises and that's and made this is you know what am I gonna do with this? I don't even know. It doesn't it doesn't really do anything. But yeah, just pages of this and these are these are um, this is a paper clip. It's basically just a cluster. It's just a cluster I had a good time with, and I stuck a paper clip onto it and then stick that onto the page and it just tucks it in. Nice, right? Added some words here and there. I had a lot of fun with this, these two books. Just paper scraps sewn to the top. Got lots of little negatives from cuts. And this is the first signature. Got my, my oval cutter out from Creative Memories and did some fun stuff with that. Here's this little tuck here. Just threw that in there. Words, other part of an envelope with another journal card. And I got three of these little things on Clarence, so I had a lot of this owl paper. But yeah, so much fun. There's another little one of those. Just tucked in negatives from, from cut die cutting on my old Cricut. Words, more of that. So as you can see, just so many little things that I tried to incorporate in this as I was learning and, and finding new ways to do things from people online. So much fun. I just went to town. Yep, yeah, that tucks in like right there. And just some magazine pages too. Extra pages is a stamp that I was working on. I made these stamps and I was experimenting on how they looked on a page. Just some random sewing on that. Franken pages, love Franken pages. Makes me want to do some more. That is just fun. A little tuck right there with a journal box I never use. So that's signature one, your signature two. Fold it in half, tuck it in this extra space. And this is just tucked inside of this, this oval. It's a negative cutout. There's a thing, a pocket envelope with another regular envelope. This is, uh, you know, you can tell it's, it's from a magazine. Put in some extra pages with a little booklet. Got three pages in here. Together with some glue and some washi tape and duct tape. Folds over like that. A little tag for no reason at all. Just so, because it tucks right there. Sewn. So, start learning. Got some lines there from my very high tech. Isn't that pretty? Very high tech uh, line maker cardboard stuff. Yeah, isn't that fun? Look at that. another cluster that I just made into a clip used with a clip just just cutesies up the page a little bit it actually has no purpose whatsoever here is scrap piece of paper and just some other pages I sewed together stuck it in an envelope a little cluster, lots of little circles and things and or different kinds of places to put stuff. And this is an envelope, honestly. There. With another little pack of papers in. So there's so much writing space in this, even though it's just chunked up little pieces of whatever. It's not glued down anymore. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe I was going to tuck something in there. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, and just used uh, some raffia, not raffia, but some twine. Oh, can you hear my Roomba going? Little pocket there. Goes in there. Another little envelope tucked onto a envelope with a cluster. And then what are these? I, I actually I use these for stamping too, but they're just, there's not much I can do with those. They're pretty cool. They're cool die cuts and stuff, but 
They make good little stands. This is a little pocket I made out of a piece of music that I just tuck in this section here that's not quite sewn or glued. Got a little booklet in an envelope. Painted papers. This is wrapping paper. Music paper. Stuff that I have. Oh, and this one I, I sewed in knitters. And it's like a trifold. And uh, just little things here and there. Another little envelope. Couple little doodads here just tucked into this little pocket and tucked onto an envelope that's got something inside of it. And these, I had a whole pack of these I had, hadn't had used, but yeah, how fun. Oh, and see, you can see where I just used a, used my Creator Memories um, custom cutting tool set and did some fun shapes with those. And then here's the back, just a tuck with a piece of paper in it. So that is Discover, and it, what I liked about it, I named it Discover because that's what I was doing while I was making these two albums. I was, or there I go again, while I was making these two journals. Um, I was ex discovering and experiencing this whole new junk journal process and uh, just using up what I had. It was so exciting because it's like, what can I do with this? You know, making something out of nothing, it uh, really... It's a blast. I enjoy it a lot. It just feeds my creative juices, you know, my monster, so to speak. Hello. Another pocket in there. And this is lined with a paper pack uh, cover sheet. So, more clusters. Just totally sewn together pieces of paper with nothing, no rhyme or reason, with a paper clip on it. And that makes a little tuck there. And I did a little stamping in here, and you can see I put some words here and there. This is another, oops, oh, I'm so sorry. There we go. Another cluster thing, graph paper, and then added some dyed, uh, coffee dyed pictures in both of these as well. Just a little cast off, something sewn on the top. A little tiny note, and here's another one of those envelopes. Um, it was, I was on envelope kit, can you tell? But how fun are these? Just made out of magazine pages. And I love the colors too. And that those I could actually transfer into my fall albums, couldn't I? There I set it again. I must need to get into my scrapbooking. Listen to me. Albums this, albums that. That's crazy. But honestly, there's nothing to scrapbook. My girls are all grown up. I guess I could try some digital stuff. I haven't done that yet. And it's not like I don't have supplies still. Here's a heart that I made out of music paper. And just a word from uh, some paper that was left over from another project. Little tuck inside of this painted uh, page this put there and where it's not sewn together another one of those envelopes in an envelope leftovers a little up tuck here go what's happening oh i know what's going on here this is over the page type thing okay here's a floral type of cutout cast off from a paper strip Some painting I was experimenting with. So yeah, this is one of those projects where, oh here, put one of these in there. There's just mail and just whatever these things are left over. Isn't that pretty? So my Franken pages, so much fun. I haven't made a Franken page in a long time. Not like this, this extent. And it'll tuck up. Whoops, a little tuck up there. A little tuck there. Make everything as simple as possible. <laughs> of course, I don't know if these are simple. It, it, eh, some of these things are simple. Like this is this little thing is super simple. Added some pretty pictures here and there. Fun, some words. 
just little things, whatever I have. Now right here, you can't really write on that, but you could add some paper to write on. You could write on this and glue it there, kind of thing. This actually tucks in a little bit. Yeah, that's just over that. Printouts. Another one of these envelopes in an envelope. This denim paper is fun. I got this at the Dollar Tree and I just recently found it again there. So it's a little paper pack. I think they're three by fives. And it's really fun. They have different kinds of denim in uh, in those packs. And this was from an envelope that was uh, a mailer from, I think, the post office. Little tucks here and there. Oh, the breeze went through, came through. Future, experimenting with some drawings, another die cut uh, uh, cast stock. That can be a subject in each little one or singular words like smile, joy, happy, whatever. Accent, aerial stamping. Man, I had fun with this. Ah, oh, I want to make another one. But I love the names of these because the whole, both of them are just all about me discovering and experiencing this new journey of uh, junk journaling and uh, memories. Junk journaling and having Franken papers, using up these scraps, recycling, and in the community. You people are just so wonderful. I enjoy looking at everybody's creations. I enjoy um, hearing about successes and new ideas. And it's just, everybody is so kind and wonderful. I just really enjoy everybody who's creative juices they share with everybody. It's such a wonderful way to uplift one another in these weird, crazy times. Weird and crazy. Hello, life. Here's a nice little patch, and that's a little practice thing I was doing. So, yeah, I'm enjoying all. I'm, man, going through your old stuff every now and then is encouraging to yourself. So maybe if you've got some of your old things laying around and you've got a, you've got some sort of a block, then. Get some of your old creations out and see what you used to do. And it might just bring on some new ideas. Here's a, <laughs> it's a cool poem that I found. And there's that. Just, oh man, I want to just make some clusters now. I want to do all of these over again. Another pocket and then that's all for that. What? Oh my goodness, so much fun. This brings me joy. This feeds my soul. So there's discover and experience. And I hope that it gives you some ideas. Love you guys again. Uh, I hope it gives you some ideas, gives you uh, a, a new perspective, gives you, gives you encouragement so that you can discover and experience more things to do in your creative journey. Um, these are books that I've made, but you can see inside of these books, there's, there's painting papers, there's stamping pa things that I've done, there's um, all kinds of different ideas that I have tried, and they're all paper-based, so paper crafting. So it just gives you ideas and uh, some sewing as well. So there you have it, friends. Old but good, encouraging myself <clears throat> today. Uh, actually, I'm in kind of a kind of a stuck mode. I'm in a creative, oh, I'm going to say stagnancy. So um, this gives me gives me encouragement, it makes me want to get going on something. So part of the reason why I wanted to show something older that I've had. And also I wanted to get a video up for a Monday. Well, there you go. Discover and experience. Well, I want to get crafting after this and we'll see what I come up with. I hope everyone's having a really good day and um, God bless you as always and take care. Bye-bye everyone.